Hello, welcome to week three of our Fundamentals of Music and uh, Music Reading. I'm reading our syllabus here. We have um, measures and quarter and eighth rhythms and patterns and a pitch review this week. And then beginning next week, we're going to have a self-test that you'll take every week through the remainder of this course. And I'm going to ask that you take that test until you get a 90% and don't move on to the next lessons until you get a 90% on it. Reviewing and getting this stuff great is going to be um, fundamental to you mastering music learning, music reading. Today now we've got some terms that we're going to learn. We have up here what's called a measure. Uh, and you can think of this as measuring time. In music we don't have just tones and pitches. La, la, la we have the measurement of time to organize those pitches and rhythms. And um, so this is how we notate those things. We, have, we put the notes in what's called a measure. This right here is called a measure line. And today I'm going to introduce to you two types of notes. This is called a quarter note, and this is called an eighth note. And what I want you to do now is pause this video as necessary and I want you to take a piece of paper and write out this chart before you go any further. So just uh, make this uh, movie stop or put it on pause or take a look here as you need. Take a piece of paper and do exactly as I've done, writing everything out, and then turn this back on. Some of you may have had some music instruction and you're going to go, well, I know what a quarter note is and an eighth note and that kind of thing. Uh, and we really aren't going to get into some of the finer details of how these rhythms operate until later. Right now, I just want you to write out what we have here, and I want you to look, quarter note, eighth note, and I want you to do the following. Ta, 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 ta. Now you do it. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. That's all happening in this measure. This measure is divided by two measure lines. These are quarters, and these are eighth notes. Now we're going to go down to here together. Ta, 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 ta. Once again, stop the video and repeat as necessary to be able to do that smoothly. Now take a look at this chart, and this is going to be the next chart that you're going to make. Remember, I'm real big on tactile learning, so I don't want you using pre-made charts. I want you writing these out yourself. That's why I do it, just to show you how to write them out. Here again, you're going to notice as you're writing this out, we have a quarter note. We have two eighth notes. These little notes here are also eighth notes. They've just got separated flags instead of those flags being barred together like that. So you're going to make this entire chart. Each of these little things is going to, each of these little measures is going to have a measure line there and then two measure lines there, two measure lines there, two measure lines there. Make this chart out exactly as I have shown you here. Once you've made out this chart, you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut and separate all of these so that these are individual little uh, cards for you to memorize from. And you're going to cut right between each of these lines. Alrighty? Once you've done that, you've cut these out, you're going to end up having these little notes that will look like this. Alright? Uh, each of your cards is going to look like this. Each of them is going to have the note there, the quarter note or eighth note or whatever, with two measure lines on either side. These will all be separate cards that you are going to uh, begin to work with. Now don't proceed until you've made this chart exactly like this and you've cut out your little cards. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. You're going to need to get a metronome. Uh, you may have one already, or you can get a free one. Uh, they come as apps. I've got one here on my iPhone. This is a free uh, metronome app. I mean, I'm, I'm a real cheap kind of person, and you can get these free. And uh, a metronome simply beats 
um, the uh, the steady beat for you. Uh, you can make it faster or slower. All right, and I'm going to suggest that you start at about 40. That will be real slow. But you're going to need to start at 40 to work through these cards. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking each card, I'm going to show you on the chart right now, and we're going to be going and saying each card twice. Ta, 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 ta and so forth. But what you'll end up doing is taking each of your cards, now mine are big, uh, it doesn't matter how big or small yours are, but I'm going to be using mine, and you're going to be taking your cards, and you're going to be going ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 etc. And I want you to practice these and mix them up until, until you can do them at 75. And I mean 75 without skipping a beat. Ta, 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 Ta 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 ta. So that's what we call putting the um, metronome uh, beat. It's going to be every beat for the quarter notes is what we're doing, um, and uh, that's where we're going to be keeping these beats throughout the rest of our exercises, working from 40 up to 75. Here's our next exercise now. Once again, uh, don't go on until you have taken a good look at this. Um, and have copied these two staves. Uh, these will be familiar to you from the last time. And you're going to create these brand new. I don't want you using what you did last time just because the tactile learning is so beneficial. You're going to write out your five line stave. Uh, bass clef first. We're going to start with our lower notes. Work up. And then you're going to write out your treble clef and notice I've made quarter notes on each of our notes and I've made quarter notes on each of our notes here I've added uh, uh, the measure lines so we've got three measures up here four measures down here and then we're going to set our metronome to 40 turn it on very slow and just a word about singing here. We're going to worry about singing the exact beautiful pitch later. All we're after is learning our notes now. And you might sing horribly. I don't care. I'm going to sing very mediocre. You're going to hear me growl my low notes and sing kind of a high falsetto sound of the upper notes. We don't care about that. We're after learning these notes and watching our music while we're playing our notes at the keyboard at the same time. You're going to remember where that first note is from our previous two lessons. That note is G, and we're going to work singing and watching at 40 per quarter note, and here we go. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. come over here to the treble clef and we're going to be singing I'm going to switch hands here we're going to be singing A B C D E etc and again I want you to speed that up until you get to 70 so that you are able to go G A B C That's at the speed of 70. Don't progress until you can do this chart at that speed. The next chart you're going to make is going to be for eighth notes. And here again, I've written out just the bass clef this time, but you're going to do the treble clef as well. 
Another new stave here, all right? So you're gonna be doing the bass clef, treble clef, only this time you're gonna do eighth notes in pairs. And you're gonna start again, setting your metronome at 40 per the, per the quarter note. And this will be a little more challenging. You're gonna be starting at 40 for the quarter note, which is gonna be ta, 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 ta. And so, it's going to go like this. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And you're going to do that for both the eighth notes and, and uh, the quarter notes until you can get, uh, excuse me, for both the bass clef and the treble clef that you're going to make until you can get them to 60. Uh, and that'll be quite a clip. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now I'm just going to warn you that this is going to take some time and you're going to feel like your, you know, your keyboard is probably going to be a little bit behind your singing. It might even get sloppy, you know, you're going to hit two notes at the same time or whatever. We're not trying to become great pianists and keyboardists. We just want to make sure that we know these note names that we understand how these eighth notes and quarters feel and that you can relate it all to the keyboard. Your final assignment this week is your composition assignment. And um, I've gone ahead and written a short composition here and I want you to notice what I've done. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to take out your paper. You're going to draw your treble staff. You're going to draw the bass staff right underneath it. You're going to draw measure lines all the way through. And what I'm asking you to do is to write a tune from a short scripture verse. I want you to use roughly half of your notes in the treble clef, half of your notes in the bass clef, and use quarters and eighths. What I've done here then, I've used roughly half my notes from the treble clef, half my notes in the bass clef. Um, I've got quarters, I've got eighth notes, and I chose this is the day that the Lord has made. And you're going to write it out just like this, making sure you've got measure lines that are going to divide your notes. I don't care how evenly they're divided right now. Okay, We're not worried about that. Some of you have taken maybe some other classes and you're ready to write this out in a meter or something. We don't care right now. We're just kind of getting used to this. And we're going to write this out. And here's what I wrote. This is the day that the Lord has made. And you would be able to see if I were doing this on the ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. All right? So there's a lot more work this week, uh, but you're going to do just great. Don't hesitate to call me or write me with any questions so that uh, I can uh, help you make this a lot of fun.